to the Public Education Foundation's podcast series featuring excellent teachers in Hamilton County. For more information on excellent teachers and how the Public Education Foundation is working to spread excellence to every classroom, visit www.pefchattanooga.org. Kids like to talk to their friends, sometimes even during class. Erica Schmidt takes this tendency and turns it into a positive. Find out more as we visit Erica Schmidt's excellent classroom at Tyner Middle Academy. And then one, one, two, three, and then the, and then the bottom one right yeah, there. Yeah, two. I see it. Plus two, because the bottom one. I see it. A mathematician's dyad is um, it's an A-B type conversation. I have my students, most of them in pairs. I might have a group of three. Um, but it's just um, each person within the dyad, each pair of, of students have a responsibility. So there's many different ways to use it, but for the most part it's to get them talking about mathematics um, and then after that being able to write down and, and communicate in writing verbally. Um, as well as just be able to have a you know talk through it. I think the, the more that they are able to um, write about what they know and um, talk about what they know in mathematics, deep understanding occurs. Talking to a partner is like a way to get to understand some on you know, your partner's point of view. It helps us learn better because we get to know what our partner knows plus what we know, put that together, and it makes you know we can you know push it farther. Students are definitely more engaged by using this process uh, simply be because they, they take ownership of their learning, uh, ownership of their thought process, they feel safe, uh, and because they feel safe in contributing to the classroom and the overall learning of the classroom, then they ac actually uh, are more involved. In math, it'd be some, it's always doing an activity or somewhere where we talking to our partners and talking and things of that nature. I like talking. The public ed has, um, through the MSNS initiative, has you know, allowed for opportunities for professional development. And that's a great one this year that, you know, at the top of my mind because we've spent so much time and really seen, we've saw a lot of gains through that and through the journaling and, and in our math classes. I like Ms. Schmidt's class because I like the way she teaches us, the way we can express ourselves and because I can interpret her more by when I listen to people, when I talk to my partner. As I teach more and more, I realize that I have a real deep understanding of the content, but at the same time, um, for the students to have a deep understanding, um, it has, you have to move beyond just being able to regurgitate rules and steps. For them to be able to see it in a contextual situation, it really helps them. And you know, being able to see it and then talk about what they see with, a, with someone else. Generally, Eric and I meet about uh, three times a week or so, sometimes more, sometimes a little less, depending on what's going on in the, in the school that particular week. Um, we talk about the different issues that we're having with our particular lessons. We talk about the, the units that we're planning and we actually plan together. Learning is such a cool thing in my room that it's, um, it's just, I absolutely love being around the kids and, and being able to share that with them and share my joy of learning math and not just seeing it as numbers and steps and rules and a pain, you know, but being able to see it as, you know, something that gets fun and working, it's, it's like problem solving all the time. So um, I, I enjoy that. Thank you for visiting the classroom of one of Hamilton County's many excellent teachers. For more on excellent teachers and the Public Education Foundation, visit www.pefchattanooga.org.